Hello, bachcho. Let's read the question. The question says that the kinetic energy of an electron, alpha particle, and a proton are given as 4k, 2k, and k respectively. The de Broglie wavelength associated with electron lambda e, alpha particle lambda alpha, and the proton lambda p are as follows. So we will solve this question. First of all, we will see what will be the key concept used to solve this question. The key concept that will be used to solve this question will be we have de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by p, where h is the Planck's constant and p is the momentum. Now we know that kinetic energy is given by p square by 2m. So p is equal to root over 2m into kinetic energy. So de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by root over 2m into kinetic energy. Now we will compare the mass, charge and kinetic energy of the three particles, those are electron, alpha particle and proton. So this is electron, then alpha particle and then proton. Now first if we compare the mass then if mass of an proton is if mass of a proton is m this ma then mass of the alpha particle is 4m and mass of electron relative mass of electron with proton is a, m by 1840. Now charge if charge on an proton is charge on a proton is e then charge on an alpha particle is 2e and charge on an electron is also e. Now the third thing is kinetic energy. So we have been given kinetic energy of electron is 4k, that of an alpha particle is 2k and proton is k. So we will have lambda that is de Broglie wavelength that will be equal to for electron it will be h by root under 2 into mass is m by 1840 into 4k and the kinetic energy for alpha particle that is h by sorry this is de Broglie wavelength for alpha particle that will be h by root under 2 into mass is 4m into kinetic energy is 2k and the de Broglie wavelength for proton is h by root under 2mk so from here we can see that the de Broglie of one de Broglie wavelength of electron is greater than de Broglie wavelength of proton and de Broglie wavelength of alpha particle is the least so we have de Broglie wavelength of electron is greater than de Broglie wavelength of proton is greater than de Broglie wavelength of alpha particle. So the correct option will be option C. Hope you all understood it well. Best of luck.